Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's spread I'm using this kit from my shop called Palm Springs. This plan with me is super exciting because it is in collaboration with one of my friends Rachel. I'm sure you guys all know her. Um, her Instagram and YouTube channel are Gathered Plans. I feel like she's like the new queen of the sticker world. I love her and I see so many people talking about her and all of her recommendations are amazing. So um, yeah, I was really excited for this collab. She and I actually collaborated about a year ago, maybe a little longer. I can't remember. Um, and I, if I remember correctly, she was like just starting out um, in the planner community. I'm not sure if I'm getting that correctly, but I think it's true. Um, and I've loved her style and the vibe of her spreads for so long. So I was really excited to get to collaborate with her again. Um, and yeah, so if you've already seen her video or if you've seen like her thumbnail, you'll see that we used different kits. Um, yeah, that was not on purpose. We definitely decided on the no decaf kit, which she went ahead and used. Um, she confirmed with me a few times which kit we were going to use. And somehow I still ended up using the wrong kit. How you ask? I literally have no idea. For some reason, she was like, no decaf, right? I was like, yep, yep, no decaf. We're Gucci on that one. Um, and here we are. We're watching a plan with me spread for Palm Springs. So, you know, not I'm not the brightest of the bunch. I have no idea how I, I did that. But here we are. And Rachel was so sweet. I messaged her as soon as I saw um, that she posted the photo. Like, can't wait to do the spread with like Shani. And I was like, oh, wait a minute how did I use the wrong kit? And I messaged her and she was so sweet. She's like, that's okay. Like, just go ahead and use that one. Cause I was like all ready to like refilm this whole thing. Um, and you know, thankfully I didn't have to do that cause Rachel is such a sweetheart. So, okay. Um, what we decided to do instead of using the same kit was we're going to answer the same questions and we're also using it both like we're both using a kit from my shop, so, you know, it kind of still makes sense. And I will eventually use that no decaf kit, don't you worry, so you'll see how mine turns out um, <laughs> eventually. And I think Rachel also has this kit. Yeah, she does. She has, like, um, a few of the recent kits from my shop, so um, maybe you guys will see her use this one as well. So let's get into the questions. I never answer questions on my channel or anything, so... Um, this would, uh, this, uh, can't speak already, <laughs> but this will be interesting. But also if you guys have any questions about the stickers that I'm using or anything like that, I'll try to get into them once I get through the questions. But if not comment down below, um, asking like about a specific sticker and I'll be more than happy to share where it's from. And yeah, let me also know what you guys think about all this question thing. Cause I'm not really used to, um, doing anything like that <laughs> on my channel, but let's get into it. So uh, the first question is, what has been your favorite memory this year? Um, and I feel like this year is kind of a hard one to answer that for because, you know, Corona and all, she's come through and ruined a lot of our plans. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like usually my favorite memories are always like traveling. And actually just last weekend, it wasn't the weekend in this spread, but um, it was like the last weekend in my life. <laughs> Uh, my boyfriend and I actually went and stayed at like a cottage and like it wasn't I don't know if I'd call it traveling it was like an hour and a half away um, but it was just so much fun we got to spend the weekend together and then like some of my friends came out the next day and we had like a beach day so I feel like that would probably be my favorite memory like as a whole I don't I don't know I'm not someone that can remember like super specific memories especially when it's like from a whole year so it's a bit hard but I would say like this past weekend was just so fun and yeah I really enjoyed it so that was my answer for question one and then for question number two is what talents do you possess that not a lot of people know um and I always think like I Anytime I get like any questions about talents, I'm like, I literally have no freaking idea. Like, do I not have a single talent? Um, and then I was like trying to think of my answer and I was like, hmm, if sticker planning or sticker making or anything like that sticker related counts as a talent, then that would definitely be it. Because I don't know, I still get like pretty shy telling people about me playing with stickers or me having a shop. So like, Honestly, other than like my close friends, like any new people that I meet, they kind of have like no idea <laughs> that 
I either have a shop or do anything. Like if people ask me if I have a job, like I never mention it. I'm like, nope, I'd rather say I'm unemployed. <laughs> Can't get into explaining it. I don't know. I just get like so um, shy about it. I, I don't know. Like it's not even that crazy. Like I've never gotten like a crazy reaction. Like nobody has ever been like, what? Like that's so weird. Like nobody has ever done that. I don't know where this comes from. Whenever my parents like tell their friends like, oh yeah, like she has like a small business. I'm like, oh my God, why? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah, I should kind of get over that fear, but for some reason I'm still here. So I guess if you want to call that a talent, <laughs> um, then we'll go with that. Uh, so that was the second one. And then the third question, this one is so sweet. It's describe your partner in three words. Um, I thought this one was really sweet. There's actually like a few. I think there's like one more about um, your significant other too, or kind of relates to them. But for this one, um, how would I describe Yanni? Um, yeah, let's see. I would say Yanni is really hardworking. Um, he like works really hard at everything that he does, uh, especially when it comes to school, <laughs> which I guess, you know, that's kind of like a lot of what we can see um, since we've been in school the entire time that we've been dating and I guess like hand in hand with that I would say like intelligent he does really well in school and even outside of school I just feel like he knows a lot about a lot of different things that I'm like why do you remember these random facts why do you know this like I've learned this and can't remember it or anything like that so um that would be my second one and the third one um compassionate I don't know I feel like yeah compassionate's a good one uh, I feel like he really wants like the best for everyone and is super like empathetic towards people and just kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like those are my three. I'm like getting flustered. I'm getting like, I'm probably like blushing. Thank God you can't see my face. But I think those are three that I would, you know, say are like good to describe him. Um, okay, let's move on to the next question. Uh, the next one is what is your love language? And I love this question because I like totally I don't know I don't know if believe in love languages is the right way to put it but like I love reading about love languages um I read I think his name is Gary Chapman if I remember correctly I read his book and I loved it and I've taken the test like a million times and I like get everyone to take it I'm always like ooh, like let's see what yours is I'm so curious so I love this question but um mine are there's actually two so the first one is physical touch and the second one is words of affirmation. Um, I think a lot of people like have two and mine were like literally like the same score for I think I don't remember how many like questions there are but I think I had a nine for both of those. Um, so yeah they're definitely tied and I can like so see them in my real life as well. If you guys like don't know about love languages pretty much there's like five different love languages. It doesn't only relate to um, like your romantic relationships. It could also be like with family or friends or anyone that you love. And I think the five are words of affirmation, physical touch, um, acts of service, gifts, and what's the last one? I always remember, I always forget one. Um, oh, uh, quality time. Like obviously you need all of those in like a healthy relationship, but I think the ones that like fill your love bucket, <laughs> like quote unquote, is kind of like your top ones so those are mine in case you guys were curious <laughs> um and then the next question is um what food do you dislike the most and why and I don't know I feel like people always tell me that I'm like kind of a picky eater and I guess I kind of am but like pinpointing a specific food I thought like was kind of hard <laughs> um because I don't know I feel like the things I don't have like some like one specific thing that I'm like oh I hate it would never touch it um like I know like some of my friends really like despise tomatoes definitely not one of those people I love tomatoes but um I don't have like one that I necessarily hate but the only thing that like came to mind for some reason was non-boneless meat <laughs> so I am not a fan of like chicken wings or like drumsticks love drumsticks ice cream don't love drumsticks like meat um what else like anything that has bones in it still it just makes me like really uncomfortable when I eat it just makes me like think of the animal and then I just it's like not 
not pleasant to eat. So I always go for like a boneless meat and I love chicken tenders, you know, very, very healthy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was my answer for that one, even though it's a bit silly, but non-boneless meat is my least favorite food, I guess. Um, okay. And then number six is what would you name your next pet? So I don't have any pets and I've never had like a real pet. Like I've never had a cat. I've never had a dog. Um, I used to have like fish, if you want to call those pets. And they were really my brother's pets. And then at one point my family also got him a hamster. Um, and he, you know, they don't live very long. So let's go with that hamster. I think we called him Nikki or maybe it was a her. Honestly, who knows? I think its name was Nikki. Um, rest in peace, Nikki. <laughs> and yeah, so I would love a dog, but it's not going to happen while I'm still living with my parents. So when I do get a pet, I would really love to name it Luna. I think that's such a cute name. Um, I just really, really love it. Like for a person or a pet, I just really love the name. And Yanni is like so not into the name Luna. Um, like for a person like for a baby <laughs> because like in Russian Luna just literally means moon like if you say it with a Russian accent it's like perfectly translated to moon so like if our parents were just like to say the name it would just sound like they're saying like moon moon and I think that's so sweet and he's super not into it so you know we agreed that maybe if we get like a dog in the future it'll be Luna so I think that's such a sweet name and I really like the node to Harry Potter as well I just I don't know. I like it. It's cute. And Luna is what I would name my dog, especially if it's a female. If it's a male, I don't know that I would go with Luna because it sounds kind of feminine to me, but Luna for a female dog <laughs> is what I would go with. Um, okay. Question number seven. If you were a drink, what would you be? Um, I, mm, this one hard too. all these questions I'm like struggling with, but I just kind of thought about it. Like what is my favorite drink? And obviously I would want to be my favorite drink. And also I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like an alcoholic drink. Like, am I supposed to be like a cocktail? Because if I am, that's a whole lot of thinking. Like, what's my favorite cocktail? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like I always get like a vodka cranberry, which is so not, <laughs> not like, I don't know, um, creative or something like peachy. I always love a peach cocktail. Um, but you know, if we're just going drinks all around, my favorite drink is definitely coffee and get like, you know, it's not a creative answer to be like, I would be like a nice bold cup of coffee, but that is what I'm going to go with because I do love coffee. It's the only drink that I drink like every single day other than water, but like, come on, I'm definitely not a glass of water. That's, that's a little boring. Um, so coffee it is. I feel like that's going to be so many people's answers if they were to answer this question. Um, but it's mine too. So I'm going with it. Cup of coffee. It is. She's bold. She's strong. This is what I'm hoping to be, you know, um, she tastes good. <laughs> That's weird. Um, but yeah, love, love coffee. Okay. Next question is question number eight. And the question asks if you, oh, sorry, is cereal a soup? Why or why not? Um, and I know that there are cold soups out there. However, I do not drink any cold soups or eat soups. I don't drink cold soups, eat cold soups. I don't know what the correct terminology for soup is, but cereal is definitely not a soup. And if you think it is, I am sorry, but I am angry. <laughs> cereal is so not a soup. When I think soup, I think like winter, cozy, um, like, I don't know, like when I'm cold and I want to warm up, something like that. I definitely don't think of cereal. Like I can definitely see why people would think that because it's like a, a bowl of something that you're eating, but no, cereal is definitely not a soup. I hope we can all agree there. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, because if you think cereal is a soup, I am concerned. <laughs> Um, and then the next question is question number nine, which is also kind of similar. Um, this one is, is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Uh, see, for this one, I can definitely see why a hot dog, a hot dog would be a sandwich. Um, going back to me being a picky eater, I hate hot dogs. Last time I ate a hot dog, I threw up a lot. <laughs> and so I, I don't really eat hot dogs anymore. Um, even before that, I just wasn't like a huge fan of them. So 
I don't really care what the answer is. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Sure. Um, actually, I don't know. That one's kind of tough because I feel like a sandwich is kind of like closed. You know, you have your like bread at the top and bread at the bottom and it's kind of closed. Whereas a hot dog, you have all that space on top to like add your condiments and stuff and it's all open. So I don't know. What's your definition of a sandwich? Okay. My final answer. Yes, it is a, a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. Again, let me know what you guys think. Is that a crazy conclusion? I'm not sure. Um, okay. And then the last question is what's the best type of cheese? And I love cheese. (laughs) Um, I don't discriminate too much on cheeses. I love feta. I love goat cheese. I love mozzarella, a a good basic mozzarella, cheddar. I love them all, honestly. But my favorite, favorite cheese is Havarti. Um, I've always loved it ever since I was a little kid. It's like, I don't know if Havarti comes in anything other than like a sliced form. Actually, I'm sure it does, but I only get it in a sliced form. And specifically, I love the one that they sell at Costco. Couldn't tell you the brand, but if I saw her, I would recognize her from a mile away. Um, Havarti is by far the best. It's so good. I could literally just eat it like bread, mayo, Havarti cheese. Amazing combination. So that would 100% be my answer. Um, Let me know. Are you guys Havarti fans? Are you guys something else kind of fans? Like, I wouldn't eat Havarti, um, like, on, like, a cheese plate, actually. Maybe I would. These questions are too hard. Maybe this is why I, like, don't, um, like, don't answer questions in my videos a lot of the time because I'm, like, so indecisive and I'm, like, am I being 100% truthful? I would definitely eat, um, Havarti off a cheese plate. So, you know what? We're going with it. And, yeah, that was the last question. I feel like those are actually really fun, even though I'm super indecisive and kept going back and forth about about all my answers. But it also brought us to kind of the last day of the week, which I'm surprised that, like, timed out really well. But also, Rachel is a genius. She picked the number of questions and the questions themselves, and she knew that my video would be exactly 17 minutes long and that I would need to fill up that time. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked all these answers and these questions. Again, let me know if you have like questions about any of these specific stickers. Please check out Rachel's Playing With Me. I know it's going to be amazing. Um, She's such a sweetheart. Subscribe to her. Give her all the love. Let her know I sent you. Do all those amazing things. Um, And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Um, But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.